uh, <laughs> I look like a complete mess, but I did brush my teeth and wash my face. Um, hair is just giving flat because I slept on my afro. Listen, y'all, ever since yesterday, yesterday evening slash yesterday night, I have just become so intrigued with sea animals, such as sea turtles, dolphins, orcas, whales, sharks, and I've always been intrigued by them, but last night, it, I took it to the next level. Like, I was just watching video after video, back after back after back on YouTube, and I was just like, wow, 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 wow. I even learned what barnacles are. <laughs> and I, and I, stop, Oogie, and I realized that barnacles creep me out, because when I see these barnacles, I start itching, <laughs> okay, because they look disgusting. So, so not only, um, you know, have I become so intrigued, and I just was watching all these videos last night, I came across some videos in regards to um, two specific orcas named Shamu and Tilikum. Now, Tilikum, I don't know if y'all notice or y'all remember this. Depending on how old you are, you probably do, you probably don't. Um, because this accident, this, I don't want to even call it a free accident. This tragic, this tragic death happened in 2010. We now in 2020, 10 years ago, I was... I'm 27, 10 years ago, I was 17. I don't think I was worrying about orcas, this, that, and that. I was too busy running the streets, you know? So I don't remember that. But um, in 2010, there was a tragic thing that happened at one of the Sea Worlds. I don't know the specific location of the Sea World, but um, till a, a, a orca, who was work, you know, was a, a orca who was, you know, they call them killer whales. And I, I'm gonna get into that too, because why are we calling uh, orcas which are in the dolphin family, which means that they're a dolphin because you can identify the fact that they are a dolphin by their teeth. Look at a regular dolphin and then look at an orca's teeth. Look at both of their teeth. They have the same exact teeth. They're not sharks. Orcas are not sharks. And orcas are not whales. Why are we calling orcas, which are a dolphin, killer whales? Is it because they're so big? So what? What if I'm so big? <laughs> Will you call me a fucking... <laughs> Will you call me a whale? No, I'm a human, right? So, it, I don't, that makes no sense to me. Okay, but Tilikum was the largest um, orca working at one of the Sea Worlds, and he worked with this specific trainer every day. Her name was Dawn. I don't remember her last name at this moment. Um, her name was Dawn. She was 40 years old at the time this um, situation had happened, and she was literally, you know, playing with the orca minutes, minutes, minutes before her death, like 10 minutes before her death. She was playing with the orca, feeding it, petting him. Um, you know, but she wasn't in the water with him. She was standing on the edge of the, of the pool. He was in the pool and she was just playing with him, bonding with him, you know? Um, and you guys, next thing you know, and I haven't seen the specific accident yet. I haven't seen it yet. I, I think it's in this documentary that I'm about to watch, but I'm not sure. Um, next thing you know, Tilikum grabs Dawn by her ponytail and drags her down to the bottom of the pool. And next thing you know, she's in his mouth, it's blood in the pool, and, and, and the other trainers, they're trying to help, but they don't want to get in the water, you know, and they be next. And, you know, I'm just going verbatim. I don't know exactly everything, you know, because I'm just now about to watch a documentary. But from what I watched last night and from what I see, from what I hear, he dragged her down to the bottom of the pool by her ponytail. Next thing you know, she's in his mouth. There's blood. They, the other trainers are screaming, calling 911. They see blood all in the pool. And, yeah, like that. She lost her life. She was 40 years old. Rest in peace to Dawn. And, um... That's crazy, man. That's crazy. It's not like she was a new trainer. She'd been training with Telecom for years. So for that to happen, people were really shocked. But um, I've also been doing a lot of research in the fact that, first of all, let me just say this. I am not going to SeaWorld. I am not. I'm a person that I've been to the circus one time in my life when I was younger. And I did take Wookie to the zoo. And that was my first time going to the zoo and Wookie's first time. So when she was like three, I took her to the zoo, the Bronx Zoo. Um, but you guys, I am not going to SeaWorld because, first of all, I haven't even watched the documentary yet, but from what I hear is in that documentary, I've been, not only have I been watching the clips and everything about these sea animals, but I've been reading the comments, and everybody's in the comments like, watch the Blackfish documentary, watch the Blackfish documentary, you'll understand, you'll understand, they are not, they are not, it's not ready yet, they're, they're, it's heating up. Uh, baby, I'll tell you after I finish, okay? She waits till I get on this camera, and then she starts talking to me. When the camera's not on, she ain't saying nothing. Um, man, the things that you know, I already know, listen, I'm not taking my daughter to the circus. My daughter's never been to the circus. I'm not taking her to the circus. Because from what I know about circuses, they, in order to train the animals, these are wild animals, most of them. And in order to train them, they beat them. They beat them. They may not give them food. You know, excuse me, wait. And as far as the zoo, I believe they do the same thing. They beat them. They isolate them from their families and from their herds and from their, their pods. And I don't agree with that. 
I don't agree with that. How would you feel if someone took you from your family and, you know, somebody is mistreating you, starving you, beating you, and all you want to do is get back with your family? You see what I'm saying? So I just don't agree with that type of behavior. So Wookie will not be, fortunately, she'll just have to watch it online, Circus and SeaWorld. And so I'm not going because, it's, and then as far as orcas, do you know what they're doing to these orcas? These orcas are being kept in captivity in these pools when these are wild animals that belong in the ocean. You take them from their family when they're young or when they're small enough. You basically come and orca nap them, you know, kidnap, orca nap. You come and orca nap them from their pod, bring them to the sea world uh, place, kept them, you keep them in captivity. When they're not do, putting on a show for humans that pay money to see this type of animal cruelty, you are keeping them in these cement cages, these dark cages. You know, you're feeding them these little fish. Every time they do a trick and, you know, do something nice and, and act right, you're giving them these little fish. This orcas, orcas are wild animals. They don't deserve and they, they, they are not supposed to just be kept in captivity and, and doing tricks and putting on stunts for humans like us. Like what type of world, what type of world have we turned into? You know, and I'm feeling really passionate about this, you guys, because it's not right. It's not right, and I don't want to get some comments. You know, I'm, I may, I may not, but I don't want to get no comments of you guys saying, oh, this was wrong with people. You, Because I know it, people are ignorant. I'm going to get the ignorant comments. You know what I mean? If I ain't getting them today, I'm going to get them tomorrow. I'm going to get them in the future. People are ignorant, right? Listen, I really don't want to hear people saying, oh, that's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all care about animals more than you care about the human life. I can't, Let's be clear. I care about human life. I do not agree with police brutality. I do not agree with black violence on black um black violence, okay, against each other. I do not agree with human violence. Humans fighting each other and killing each other. I do not agree with sex trafficking and human trafficking and child trafficking. I don't agree with a lot of shit, okay? But now what's on my list is I don't agree with the way we treating these wild animals, holding them in captivity, making them do these tricks because we want to pay um um we want to pay these tickets to see them do tricks and all of this like I don't even know if I will go to the aquarium again. It's not right. And then the fact that they've been kept in captivity for how many years? We can't just free them out into the into the into the wildlife now because they've been brainwashed. They've been uh, humanized, you know. And you put them in the wild, they won't even act like the regular wild animals that are out in the world. I don't know, y'all. Right now, I just ordered um, the Blackfish documentary on YouTube. If I, if you are intrigued and interested in this type of stuff, or you just want to watch it just because. I would say watch it. Just just search in the search bar on YouTube, Blackfish. It's going to pop up. You do have to rent it or buy it. I'm renting it right now for $3.99. And um, you guys, I don't know what I'm... I, I really, you know, and, R, and I didn't say this too. R.I.P. To, to Telecom, the orca, because it wasn't his fault. It really wasn't. It's just, he. it wasn't his day. It, 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 it wasn't his day. He wasn't feeling it. And he went the F off. And it resulted in Dawn losing her life. And it's just, it's all, it's sad all around. Um, three, oh, three years ago, Tele, Telecom, Telecom died. Because after Dawn died, um, he went, Telecom, they put Telecom right back out there to do um, some more stunts and stuff and to do more shows. He went on a few more years to do shows. I think three years ago, Telecom actually died. And did he really die? Hmm. Or did SeaWorld kill him? Because he was getting old. And because he was deteriorating. I don't know, y'all. Um, if I can tell y'all anything, don't go to SeaWorld. Don't take your kids to SeaWorld. Don't support this. This is not, this is not right. And then we wonder why, you know, animals are becoming extinct. And we don't see these exotic and beautiful animals out in the world when we go, um, travel and stuff. We wonder why we don't even see them. You know why? Because human, the human, us humans are sick. We really are. We, you know, we think everything is about money, money, money. And as long as, long as you, it's making you money, then, then it's, it's all right. It's good. It's not all right. Let's stop it. Let's stop it. Our kids are going to grow up and they're not even going to be able to see these wild animals when they when they decide to travel the world for themselves. You know why? Because the, the prior generations, we hurt these animals. We hurt them and we killed them. We worked them to death. We put them to work when they should be living a free life. Roaming the world in their pods and in their herds and in their groups with their families. I don't know, y'all. I gotta go. I'm, I'm gonna watch this movie. I'll probably talk to y'all after I'm done with it. But go watch Blackfish, y'all. Go watch Blackfish. Oh, God, it's a video. So we just got to the nail salon. Well... We've been here for a little minute now. Wookie is done. Look at Wookie's. How are you doing? I already 
zoomed in, so I'm gonna put that clip after this one. Um, it's not too crowded here. That's good. That's how we like it. And um, good thing I called because tomorrow is their last day um, of them being open, you know, before the new year and everything. So now I'm about to get my nails and toes done. She's gonna do my nails on uh, my toes first, then my nails. My nails are looking jacked up because y'all know I pop my nails off. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to show out a little bit, you know. She really don't like me, you know, vlogging and everything. But I'm gonna just try to do my toes, you know. Hmm? Let's not stand because there's the water glow in the adult seat. Yeah, but you don't get your water, put your feet in the water anyway. Yeah, but they don't put the light in there. Yeah, I have the water and the light. Let me show y'all. I have the light. Look at my old petty. Bye, old petty. Bye, bye. You're going to be getting some. Mommy, mommy, when I grew up, mommy, but when I grow up, but when I grow up, I, mm -hmm. I don't think she needs her eyebrows. When I, when I grow up, I can get on the adult sheet mm -hmm. and go to a rainbow one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. It's so cute. You like it? I thought you wanted the pattern. That's cute. Don't mind the product. She got a little bit of product built up right there. I did her hair yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So, um. Yeah. No, it's okay. Mommy, it's like a mini shower. So, the product is built up a little bit right there, but don't worry about that. That's the Cantu product, the conditioner. Yes.
morning um and my appointment was for 10 o'clock but i was running late because i had to make a stop before i went there um so I, i'll say we got there like 10 30 and then we literally just got home at 2 30. that's four hours that don't make no damn sense but um my lips is all dry i'm all hungry Whew. So, but i'm just happy we got our nails done I don't know what I'm gonna do for my, to my hair, y'all. I'm real, I'm trying to figure it out. I'll probably just go get like two goddess braids. I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and let y'all know that we are home and we better eat because we're starving. I didn't eat before we left to go to the nail salon. Ruki ate a Elio's pizza, so she had you know something that she was sitting on me. I was literally in there for four hours not eating nothing. So right now I'm about to eat me some leftovers before I cook dinner tonight. Tonight I'm making my usual salmon. And yeah, I'll check back in with y'all later. Tomorrow I do have a chemical pill appointment. So I'll see y'all tomorrow if anything. Oh yeah, I'm about to watch um, Moraney's Chad Boswick's um, last movie before he died. What is it called? Moraney's Bottom something. But it's about the blues back in the 70s, I think. And yeah, I'm about to watch that and eat and just chillax and... Yeah, I got me a bottle of wine. I don't know if I'm going to open it today. I don't know if I'm going to just save it for the new year. I don't know. Um, and a little snack, a, a little small pack of Cheez-Its. You know, just something. But yeah, y'all, I'll check in with y'all later. Your girl is so happy that she got her nails done. I went short. I went very short because I just wanted to go short, you know. Nice, short, you know, nothing too crazy. This is what I like. I like short. She did her best cough and shape. It's not the best, but it's 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 decent, you know. And I love the fact that I matched the nails with the toes. And yeah, I'm feeling refreshed. I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. And yeah, all right, I'll talk to y'all later. Just came back from the nail salon. It's giving very much New Year vibes. I got baby pink and gold going on, and I love it. I love them. Hey y'all, I just got out the shower. Um, I'm a little frustrated because I came back from the dermatologist a little while ago and you know, I think he's still not getting the points of what I'm trying to explain to him is that I don't have acne, okay? Every bump that I get on my body is a flare up. And y'all know that because I've been talking to y'all about my skin disease and I talk to y'all about so many different things, you know? Y'all get it. He does not get it. And, you know, uh-uh, excuse me. I left out of there just feeling frustrated. Like, he still referred to my flare-ups as, oh, well, you know, we're going to do this and we're going to do that to try to heal, you know, the flare-ups and the acne. It's not flare-ups and acne. It's just flare-ups. Like, what don't you understand? You're a dermatologist. I don't know how young you are. He looks pretty young. So he's probably, in, he looks like he's in his early 30s. Like, you don't get it. Like, didn't you go to school to learn about skin and all type of issues regarding skin? Obviously you did, right? So they don't teach you about HS in, in dermatologist, dermatology school? Apparently not, because no, 85% of, of skin doctors do not know about HS. And even if they think they know about HS, they don't really know. They winging it. They're trying this, they're trying this. 
They trying this, they trying that on their patients to see, oh, what works, what, what doesn't work. You know, and he really pissed me off today because, you know, I normally go in for my regular chemical pills, my, my regular injections. Y'all know, I've brought y'all to my appointments. And, you know, this is, today was the second time I've ever seen him, you know, because y'all know prior, prior to him, I was seeing Dr. Shannon, the one who officially diagnosed me with my HS, although I already knew it was HS because prior to me even ever seeing my first dermatologist, which was Dr. Shannon, I was doing my own research because I was trying to figure out my body. What's wrong with my body? What's wrong with my skin? What is this? What is that? You see what I'm saying? So I already knew it was HS. I just had to go in there and get that reassurance and then get treatment. You see what I'm saying? And you know, Dr. Shannon, she, man, y'all, she took such great care of my skin. Like, she taught me things about my skin. You see what I'm saying? She taught me more things about my skin, you know? Um, and she was helping me treat my skin, like 100%. Like, look back at my content videos, y'all. My skin was clear. And if I would just get any flare ups, it would be like once a month. You see what I'm saying? He doesn't get it. He's like, so, you know, I go in there for my regular, um, I just got out of the shower, y'all. I'm about to braid my hair down, so don't mind my hair being wet and, you know, water dripping down my face. But, you know, I, um, I'm like, he's like, how's everything going? I'm like, oh, I got these, um, annoying, stubborn flare-ups that won't go away, you know, one on my chin. It just healed. I had that flare-up for weeks, and this is like a two-in-one flare-up, and it's hideous. It won't go away. You see what I'm saying? So, he's like, all right, um, I'm like, so I want the chemical pill and the injection, you know, the regular. So, he's like, oh... Well, I don't really do chemical pills. Remember, I told you last time. But, um, you know, we can do one today. He was like, and I don't even know how... He was like, you was getting the chemical pills with Dr. Shannon. I'm like, yeah, Dr. Shannon was giving me the chemical pills. She gave me the skin lightening cream. She gave me the BP wash, clindamycin. She was, she had me on Doxy, you know. Um, she was doing everything and more, you know, to help me with my skin. And everything in a collaborative effort helps my skin. Everything in a collaborative effort. Not just one thing. Not just the doxy pills. Not just the clindamycin, and the BP walk. The skin lightning cream. The chemical pills. Everything works together efficiently to help my skin improve. You see what I'm saying? And where I, I like it to be. Which is clear skin. Um, so he was like, oh, I don't even know how, how Dr. Shannon was giving you the chemical pills. Because your insurance doesn't cover chemical pills. See, I didn't know that. When I first started getting the chemical pills, Dr. Shannon, she, she's the one who brought it to my attention. I didn't go in and ask her for chemical pills. I came in for my regular appointment, and she was like, hey, uh, we got some chemical pills. She was like, you want to try it out? And I was like, really? Cause I, I knew about chemical pills because I watched it on Keisha's channel. She did a chemical pill, I think, a few years ago. And I knew about them, and also by Charlemagne because he talked about it on the radio. But I never had a chemical pill before Shannon, Dr. Shannon. So she was like, oh, yeah, your, your insurance covers it. And from that day, I've been getting chemical pills. Like, So now when I see you, you're telling me, and it's crazy because he gave me a chemical pill last last month. He gave me a chemical pill, along with the injections to help the flare-ups go away. So, my lips is crazy ashy, y'all. Please don't mind my lips. Um, so, now you're telling me that I can't get a chemical pill because my insurance does not cover chemical pills? And you don't know how I was getting it with Dr. Shannon? Listen, regardless of how I was getting it, this, that, and the third, maybe Dr. Shannon was just a lit-ass doctor and she was looking out for me because she know how bad, how desperately I wanted to clear my skin. From the first time she seen me, my skin was atrocious. Black spots everywhere flare-ups everywhere literally I, my confidence was not as high as it is right now you see what i'm saying because my shit was ugly y'all ugly and i refused to let my skin go back down that road i'm 27 you know ain't nothing ain't nothing wrong with my skin that i can't fix with the help of a dermatologist and when i have a dermatologist like this one who is you know i just don't feel like he is trying to work collaboratively in a, in a collaborative effort to help me fix my skin the energy that i receive from him you know, and he doesn't even have to say anything. It's just the minute he comes in a room and our energies are, like, trying to get acquainted, he's one of these doc doctors that are, that, that are like, know-it-alls. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here telling you what it is and everything that I've been experiencing in my life and my past with my skin and, you know, all the things that me and Dr. Shannon, we've, we've discovered about my skin and all the things we have improved about my skin in a collaborative effort. And you sitting here like, well, I don't do chemical pills. Chemical pills. I don't even, um, I don't even, um give chemical pills to my patients because I like to treat the underlying issue. I'm telling you what the underlying issue is, which is a skin disease. You see what I'm saying? And you, you're not getting it. Oh, you should get on birth control because birth control will help you level out the estrogen level. I don't take birth control, okay? I took birth control two times in my life when I was younger and I would never take them again because they do not, they're not healthy for me. You see what I'm saying? They're not healthy for me. Um, and 
you know, you're telling me all these different things. Oh, this this cream. Um, I want you. I want, I want you to try this cream. I want you to try these pills, and you know, and all this kind of stuff. When you can just give me the chemical pill. Talking about the chemical pills. Um, I don't know if you know, but the chemical pills cost like a hundred, a hundred, a hundred dollars. Um, he's like, I know it's definitely over a hundred dollars. You you can ask the front desk. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I'm just really irritated. I really am. Um, I can see with him that it's not gonna last long. You know, and as soon as he walked in, I was like, hey. Um, remember last time I was here, right? And I was telling you that I have hydrogenitis separativa, which is a chronic skin disease on my face, on my armpits, and on my pubic area, right? And you told me, oh no, you don't have uh, HS on your face because there's no way you can have HS on your face. Only thing um, you have on your face is just severe acne. And I told you, no, that's not true. Because I did my own research prior to ever seeing a dermatologist in my life. And then when I came in and I seen Dr. Shannon, Dr. Shannon reassured me. Because she looked at all the areas that I told her that I have the HS. And she was like, oh yes, this is definitely HS. Like, and you sitting here. You know, and I was like, because you're a doctor. Last time I seen you, I even went home because you made me, like, doubt myself. So I went home and I had to research it. And yeah, I was right all along. You can get HS on, my, on your face. This is what I have. Not only do I have it on my face, but I have it on my underarms and on my pubic area. He was like, oh, yeah. Like, still didn't get it. Still didn't get it. Like, oh, yeah, you have you, you have HS and you have acne. No, sir. Like, what, what don't you understand? What don't you understand? I don't like, he, he's just, I don't know, y'all, but. I'm going to go ahead and um, edit the vlog tonight because I, I got enough footage to put the vlog out for y'all. You know, I'm going to end it here with him. Like, I'm going to give him one more visit, one more try. You're going to get three fucking strikes. And, you know, on the third strike, you don't get it, you're out. I'm going to see the next doctor. I don't care, y'all. I'm going to see the next, 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 keep seeing the next doctors until, you know, someone can understand me the way Dr. Shannon understood me. It gets me emotional. I'm not going to cry, though. Um, let me get off this damn vlog because I'm, I'm really irritated today. I need to eat and I just, I need to... I need to relax. <sighs> Anyways, the next vlog y'all probably see is after the new year. So I do want to wish you all a happy new year. Happy 2021, everybody. And yeah, I'm going to end the vlog right here. I love you all so much, my babies. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love. Bye. Turn up, y'all, but don't turn up too much. Continue to social distance. Continue to wear your mask. And, um, you know, new year, y'all. New year, new goals, new energy. Like, come on, y'all. We got to work harder. Don't be afraid to cut people off, block people's numbers, all that family, friends, associates. It don't matter. Anybody could get cut. You're not acting right. Your energy's not right. Like, it's just a little too much. Then, baby, you got to go. So, I just want to give y'all that little bit of advice because y'all know I try my best to take my own advice. I give really great advice, but I, I don't always take it. I don't always take it. That's just the Libra in me. But um, every day of my life, I'm just trying to be a better person, you know, inside and out. So, yeah, I love y'all. Happy New Year. Bye. Yeah, I know. I could have just end the vlog looking all dry lips dry everything just dry fresh out of the shower so i came back after i moisturized as y'all can see my face is moving the way it's supposed to and my lips are very juicy um but yeah yeah i'm gonna make me some tuna steak i haven't ate like tuna steak before any the only tuna i've ever made i've only ate in my life and made was tuna fish out the can. So this is really, this is really new. Let me show you how I prepared it. Don't worry about the lemon seeds, but this is some olive oil, fresh lemon juice, and some um, butter. I'm about to season it. I'm gonna have it with some baked potatoes and some corn. And yeah, hopefully it comes out good. We'll get in there talking about, I don't eat tuna. Girl, you never even tried tuna before. We'll cut it out, it's just like salmon, fresh fish. And you know mommy, you know how to season and cook really well um so you're gonna be fine but yeah y'all now i'm gonna end the vlog because y'all see me not looking crazy but everything that i said in that previous clip still stands i just had to give y'all this skin i just had to give y'all this hydration you feel me hold on right here. yeah i just had to give y'all this hydration baby don't play with me bye <laughs> Look, y'all, I made tuna steak for the first time. So, yeah, this is dinner tuna steak with some baked potatoes and some corn. I'm so hungry. It's the first time I've ever made tuna steak. And this is actually the first time tuna besides the tuna in a can. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, your girl is now playing.